All right, so you've clicked on this video because you must be looking for a heating and cooling off-grid solution and EcoFlow Wave 2 is on your radar. And when we first started looking into it, we did the exact same thing. We jumped on YouTube and began looking for honest reviews. But honestly, what we found was a lot of videos of people spouting out information that I literally could have read directly off their website. So today I'm going to give you an honest review and just cut through all of the specs and information that you've probably already heard a thousand times. Now for a bit of background, Ryan and I have been living on our 46 foot sailboat as full time liveaboards for the past five years. Starting in the Mediterranean, eventually crossing the Atlantic Ocean, spending the last couple years in the Caribbean, and now we're actually on the east coast of the US where, full disclosure, we're freezing our butts off. But aside from literally pulling into a marina and plugging straight into shore power, there really isn't a lot of off grid portable solutions for heating and cooling on board. And that's where this versatile piece of equipment pretty much comes into play. Now, one thing I do want to mention as anybody who lives off grid, we have to manage our own expectations because there's never going to be any one perfect solution and everything's going to always have a bit of a give and take. But I will say the technology behind this is pretty impressive. This is basically a portable compact reverse cycle air conditioner. And I will say it does pack a pretty good punch for how versatile it is. Now, with that said, remember, Remember what I said about expectations, you can't expect this little unit to heat or cool an entire house. It's just not built for that. This unit is designed for small spaces and that's where it's really going to perform. Remember, we're living off grid. So if you want the comfort of living in a sauna in the dead of winter, it's probably time to sell up and head back to the suburbs. So for example, when I'm working on my computer in the saloon, we'll close both the doors of the cabins and literally just heat this room and it does a perfect job for that. When it's time to go to bed, we'll close up our bedroom door and have the unit in the bedroom. And again, it's perfect for that. Now the EcoFlow website has a lot of stats on runtime, charging capabilities and efficiency. So let's talk some numbers. The unit's rated at 44 decibels, which basically means it's supposed to be really quiet. And I can confirm that it actually is. I'd pretty much compare it to like a white noise sound machine it's there but it's kind of not and we fall asleep to it no problem when it comes to living on a boat it actually does a really good job of drowning out all those like creaks and cracking noises that we just kind of get used to living on a boat so unless you're a super light sleeper and literally could wake up from the drop of a pin you're probably not going to have any problems with this now when we were looking into this pretty much all i was interested in was how long it was going to be able to run for and i'm sure you guys are probably the same on the website it's advertised to be able to run on eco mode for up to eight hours, which I was super excited about, which it potentially could in cooling mode because it takes up less power. But in heating mode, we were finding it was running for more like four to five hours, which initially I found a bit disappointing. But remember, again, expectations. Ryan had to remind me just how impressive it is that this little compact unit, which is plugged into no power source at all, was as effective in heating our room as it was for that long. And when you break down the numbers, almost five hours of really good heating is actually really impressive. So now let's talk charging options. So we opted for the add-on battery bank as well as the 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Now there's other ways to run and charge this unit, like plugging directly in into a home power supply or using other EcoFlow products and generators, but I'm not gonna get into all those because you can find all that information on their website. So we were most excited about the idea of being able to charge it off of a 220 watt bifacial solar panel. So the panel itself is great quality with some awesome charging capabilities. Not only can it capture the direct sunlight from the top, but also the reflections from the sun on the back side of the panel, fully utilizing its energy capabilities. Now, keep in mind, we're on the northeast coast of the US right now in the middle of winter, where the days are short and the sun is not very strong. And the constant moving of the boat can cause shade, which you have to be mindful of. And after using the solar panel as the sole source of charging, we found it was taking up to eight hours to fully charge the battery. Now, remember expectations. <laughs> this panel has great charging capabilities, but it does need the right environment to perform properly. And this takes time. So this solar panel would definitely be amazing during summer where the sun's strength will allow it to perform to its maximum potential. Now, this is where the versatility of this unit comes into play. On days where you don't have time to wait for the sun to charge the battery, you have options. We found alternatively that we could run our generator and plug in the add-on battery bank and have it fully charged and ready to go in approximately two hours. 
The Wave 2 is definitely an awesome piece of equipment and the technology has been super thought out and really well executed. Although it won't be effective in a large area, it's perfect for your small off-grid living. So I hope this has helped you in making a decision whether the Wave 2 is right for you. And if you are interested, I have linked it in the description below for you to check out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.